The following video is an example problem that we solved in my step-by-step -step video guide to completing optimization problems. Check the description for a link to the full video. A farmer has 2,400 feet of fencing and wants to fence off a rectangular field that borders a straight river. He needs no fence along the river. What are the dimensions of the field that has the largest area? Here's a few examples of possibilities. You can see that if we use a shore and fat design, then we get a pretty small area. And if we get a long and skinny design, we also get a small area. If we go for a more balanced approach though, the area is much larger. So there's gotta be some optimal point, some optimal dimensions for this fenced off area, giving us a maximum area. And that's what we're looking for. We'll begin with a sketch of the situation. We have this river, and then we have our fenced off area. We'll say that the side of our rectangle opposite the river side has a length of y. And then the other two sides that we need both have a length of x. We, of course, are trying to maximize the area of this rectangle. We do have some given information, which is that we have 2,400 feet of fencing. So x plus x plus y, or 2x plus y, will have to equal 2,400. That's all the fencing we have. Now we can move on to the primary equation. Let's write an equation for the quantity that we're trying to optimize. We're trying to maximize area, so we'll write an equation for that. The area of this rectangle is, of course, just x times y. So that's our primary equation, a equals xy. Again, though, we've got two variables here. We need an equation in terms of a single variable. We can fix that pretty easily, this is step three, by going back to our secondary equation and solving for y. y is equal to 2400 minus 2x. And then we can plug that in for y in our area equation to find that the area is equal to x times 2400 minus 2x, which is the same as negative 2x squared plus 2400x. Now we have a primary equation in terms of a single variable. The next step is to establish the feasible domain. In this case, x has to be between 0 and 1200. We obviously can't have a negative dimension on our rectangle, and x has to be less than or equal to 1200 because the amount of fencing we have is 2400, and there's two copies of x in our design. So x can't exceed 1200. We don't have that much fencing. So x is between 0 and 1200. Again, this is a closed interval. Now we're on to the calculus part. We're trying to find the maximum value of this area function on the closed interval between 0 and 1200. It's easy to see that at the endpoints of this interval, the area would be 0. When x equals 0, the area is obviously 0. And when x equals 1200, well, the 2x takes up all of the fencing, and so y would be forced to be 0, thus, again, making the area 0. So whatever our maximum is, it's going to be at a critical point. Let's take the derivative of the area function to find the critical point in the interval. We just apply the power rule to find a prime. The derivative of negative 2x squared is negative 4x, and the derivative of 2400x is just 2400. Then, since this isn't undefined anywhere, to find critical points, we just set it equal to zero, and that gets us here, x equals 600. And again, we are on a closed interval. We're really using the extreme value theorem here. There has to be a max and a min on this closed interval. The maximum obviously isn't zero, so it must occur at x equals 600. If x equals 600, we know that y must equal 1200 just by plugging 600 into this equation. That would give us that 1200 plus y is 2400, so y is 1200. Thus, we have a maximum at x equals 600, the dimensions of the region that we need are 600 by 1200, and the area that we get is 720,000 square feet. That's the maximum area this region can have, given that we only have 2400 feet of fencing. <laughs> Can't even cover myself up from instant. What's the wrong?